Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, the Good Sir Knight. Pacha! And uh, today we're doing another dump pouch review. Oh, yes. This one comes shortly on the heels of the uh, Blue Force Gear little micro dump pouch. And uh, this one was pretty small. I thought this one was pretty neat. And at the recommendation of Deadeye5155. Got to shout outs. Really good information. Uh, good spot on the uh, Flatline Fiberco dump pouch. I, this particular, I like the Condura one, which is what I got hanging out down here. And that's what we're going to be reviewing. So, dump pouches come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And there's a good amount to consider when you're choosing which dump pouch you want to run. Some absolutely insane people say, hey, just don't run a dump pouch. And uh, they get flamed pretty hard <laughs> on their channels. So, um, yeah, there's almost always a need for a dump pouch. And with how small they can get, there's really no reason not to run one. So, personally, I'm going go, to go out there first. My preferred dump pouch, and you will never be able to talk me out of it, is going to be the MDOM dump pouch. This one is the uh, little mesh one I got from my good buddy who used it, and uh, yeah, the mesh, nice, lightweight, lets uh, water and everything seep out. They do make a Condura one as well, and um, I'm looking at trying out the one with the zipper. But this is like your full-fledged, beefy dump pouch. It's got tons of support. Told your magazines or whatever you throw in their water bottle for the range. And keep it nice and comfy. This is a dump pouch that you want if you're going, if you're like 120% sure you're going to use your dump pouch all the time. Just constantly throwing things in there and using it for stuff. This is a really solid dump pouch for that purpose. But it does take up a lot of space. That's the drawback, you know, the things you gotta think about. So with the micro that we talked about earlier on the different video, you pull a little tab, you get a little rip stop, a uh, little dump pouch. Hangs out low pretty, hangs out a little low. Um, it mount, has, holds on by a little bit of uh, Velcro there. And the thing with micro dump pouches is there's very little connection point to the belt. So you have a whole lot of swing and wobble when you throw stuff in there. So it's more like a, if you need it, but generally prefer not to use it if it can be avoided. And if you dump an empty like mags in there, it's fine. If you're like picking up uh, stuff that gets a bit more heavier, like, you know, rocks, because you always have to have war rocks in case you gotta throw them at your friends in case they're trying to do stuff, or pine cones, or really whatever you need, then um, it's a good dump out for very micro stuff. But it does take up a little bit of space on your belt. Actually, let me uh, rotate this guy here. Yeah, this belt rotates. So it takes up a little bit of space, and um, it is the uh, ripstop nylon, which isn't my favorite material in the world, but you know, with how small and compact it is. So, alternatively, let's say you're like, well, okay, well that's a pretty cool micro lightweight dump pouch, but I want even more micro, but not that nylon stuff. I want micro, but beefy. Then that's where Flatline Fiberco comes in with the Condor, the little Condor uh, dump pouch, which is, you can see here, hanging out underneath these two handgun mags. Which is a pretty cool concept, because um, if you bust this guy open, you'll see... Oh, how did that get in there? Alright, <laughs> you'll see we got this cool full-fledged dump pouch that hangs out underneath your mags without getting in the way. And uh, similarly, because it is a little point of contact, it has a lot of swing and everything, but with that little space it takes up, and the fact that it has no real negative impact on your kit, it's pretty cool. Additionally, as you can see here, just from the way the uh, Condor is designed and everything, it actually, I've, I mean, you can close it up a bit, but ultimately you stuff your hand in there, get one push, and it stays open, which was a cool little thing. It is also pretty beefy. So let me pull these mags out here, and let's take a closer look. So, one of the really, really cool things, and this is one of the pro tips I have for you guys today, is that it comes with one inch wide, one touch Velcro. And I've seen these used before, I was kind of surprised to see this come in with the uh, dump pouch itself. And I was like, wait a minute, that's high quality Velcro, that's the good stuff. And uh, would you be able to mount all of your stuff on that? And of course, I watched the uh, educational video on the Flatline Fiber Co. It's going to be linked down in the description. Um, yeah, they actually talk about that fiber, that uh, Velcro, and how they use it on pretty much everything. So being very, very intrigued, I went on ye old Amazon 
and shabam, found it. There it is. This is all. This is what it is. It's cheap. It's effective, and it's super really good. Most importantly, original thinking. So, <laughs> so you pick up some of this, and they come in. You basically what you want to do is go and buy the model you get from the uh, dump pouch. Is they come in six inch strips. So with two inches, two inches for your belt, two inch over, two inch under, and you wrap it however you need to, preferably alternating to get maximum grippage. Then even when you're running your beefy, I know we're deviating from the uh, review a bit here, but when you're running your beefy mag pouches, you're running your dump pouches, running your medical, pretty much, you can get some pretty heavy stuff on there. And that's ripping from the tearaway part. That is not ripping on the Velcro part. So really, really good eye. Um, that was a big tip I picked up on and I was like, Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. If, if I want to move stuff around my belt easy and still have it stay secure, then that is the one wrap Velcro to go with. Of course, I remember mishearing. I typed in a uh, one touch first and uh, yeah, it brings up um, diabetic <laughs> blood testing medication. But there's also the one trip, which is when you buy too many groceries. So you have your fingers and arms turn purple from cutting off circulation from carrying 20 bags upstairs. Whew. So what's cool is, whereas our Blue Force Gear one takes up a little bit of space and hangs out on the belt, also using Velcro, this guy mounts directly onto your magazine pouches or wherever you really want to place it. And it might take a little bit of work and finagling, but you can make it work. So if I take this guy off here, and pop these, this is my uh, sort of like experimentation belt I picked up off my buddy. This is like a belt I run to just like test random crazy stuff. So as you can see, you've got your laser cut material here, high quality. You know, everyone loves the laser cut and you just run the um, Velcro through there. And if you're using something taller, like an M4 mag pouch or something like that, you might need to run the Velcro up high. And maybe this little bottom part will run through the top here. So you just take the little back piece of whatever you got going on with your uh, magazine pouch and you could weave it through the other one to give a bit more secureness. All you have here is this little tack. So of course, like I said, you are going to get a good chunk of swaying and stuff when you throw stuff in there, but it's, it's not too bad. And of course you can always just Pull this guy. This is the cool part. I like keeping it on the pistol mag pouch just for this very reason. It's a perfect fit on the Haley Strategic mag pouch. Fits perfectly on there. And um, if you take that off, then you can just mount this right back to your belt and your magazine pouch is removed if you want to run a beefier full-sized one. So let's take a closer look at this. So if you look, <laughs> see, it goes up. If you pull up their webpage, It'll be in the description for this particular bag and you click on the M81 Woodland one that's on the display You'll look if you look take a nice little look at this whole black spot right here it matches up perfectly This was either the display model or they have an attention to detail previously never before seen in the uh, commercial market, so <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's literally the exact same model I was super happy to get exactly what was displayed there because I kind of like the shape I know, it has no real tactical significant value, but I, I just like the shape. It looks pretty neat. So, of course, you got your little uh, Velcro little closure tab there. There's nothing on the front to close it to, so if this thing fills up, then it's filled up. You got to use your quality little uh, tie-down tie guy there and uh, sort of like hope for the best. But this is an admin, or it's a uh, dump pouch with a lot of interesting admin options. So if you look back here, Notice all this crazy stitching going on. And uh, yeah, so if we actually turn this inside out. Yeah, you will see that there was some unique admin considerations placed into this. This is all elastic. So you got a really small pen shaped one here, more of a multi-tool one there, another pen. Your notebook, so you can keep your rifle range notes and everything. Another pen another multi-tool and or handgun mag and a fourth pen or sharpie or whatever craziness you have going on there so you can actually organize quite a bit of stuff if you're just going to the range to do some easy shooting and you're only going to kind of lose your use your dump pouch for a few empty mags and you want to keep like your notebook and all your other stuff that you don't want in your pockets easily acceptable and immediately on your left hip and this is a very smart unique way to do it they do make a smaller version of this that's a little bit tinier i think they cut out the velcro on that one or not not too sure but 
This gives you some cool admin options to attach to a dump pouch that you may or may not use, and that takes up practically no space. And it comes in God's plaid, which is always a nice touch. So, if you don't want to run a full-on beefy dump pouch, but you still want to have a dump pouch that's out of the way of all your other stuff, then this is a fantastic option. Like I mentioned, it's going to sway a lot, and I like to run around and cause problems. So before you start running around and causing problems, all you really got to do is make sure you just have your admin stuff in there, things that aren't going to swing around too much. And uh, yeah, just as long as it's empty, you can run around and everything and use this for a sort of like post range cleanup easy piece. It is pretty like massive. That is not a small size compared to when it's rolled up, which it is a pretty small size. So I like having this on me. It is good. I really like it. And of course, like it folds really nicely. So you got your little piece here. If you want a bit more stability, you'd probably have it mounted from the outside. But again, we're going for the smallest size possible. So you gotta, you gotta make some sacrifices. Take that laser cut there. All you gotta do, fold, fold again. Make sure your little, this guy, just on his own, completely OFP, will constantly just sort of like naturally reattach into the dump pouch. So make sure you pull him out and don't let him get, become a, pro, a nuisance. Fold those over, you know, roll it up. And there's a little bit of um, beefiness to all that uh, elastic down there, but nothing too consequential. Fold that back down and shabam, you're back to your micro packet package. I like it on the pistol mag pouch, even though it's farther up front, because I have to make known modifications. I could put it on the rifle mag pouch, which moves it back slightly. However, then I gotta make it lower and there's a bit more steps involved, so... It really comes down to how much free time I have, how much effort I'm willing to put in, and that sort of nature. But it is... It is pretty fantastic. And I do like Blue Force gear, but... That is, um quite the competition to uh, be put against. It's pretty neat. Um, and rips, the ripstop nylon, it's uh, not my favorite material in the world. This this will take a beating. The ripstop nylon, I mean, it'll take a similar beating, but it'll probably start to come undone long before this guy, so. Yeah, this is, this is just the cool one. I like this guy, so this was probably gonna stay on my kit for the most part, mostly because it'll probably be too lazy to remove it. And have two dump pouches. <laughs> Entirely too many. Entirely too many dump pouches. However, using the big brain pro trip pro tip strategy of the one wrap velcro, I can easily take my big beefy one off and uh, save some room. Maybe attach something else there. I don't know. I could do lots of crazy things because I got options. And options are good, and uh, knowledge to go with those options is better. And out, time out on the range to actually test out how all this stuff works is probably the most important. So that's all I got for you guys today. This is a really cool dump pouch. Thank you again to Deadeye5155 for the recommendation. And uh, yeah, well, I guess I should do a disclaimer. Um, no one's sent me free things. This is all paid for out of pocket. And I'm glad, because it is pretty neat. So that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, concerns, or I think I showed it off pretty effectively. I mean, the only thing I haven't really touched too much on was the little uh, what was this little lock piece here. But it's like any other shock. Oh, it is shock cord. That's clever. They didn't put shock cord in the uh, Blue Force gear one. That was a recommendation from another commenter to do a shock cord mod. Pretty smart, but don't need to mod it if it's already done. And if you want to replace it with anything super crazy or make it easier and faster to close up and all that, I, you can easily remove the shock cord, put other stuff in there, use a beefier... I never remember the name of these. I know they're generally made by, like, was it ITW Nexus? Well, like, shoelace-looking speed guy. But, yeah, I never remember the name. But, yeah, they come in all sorts of colors and sizes. And they do make a ripstop one if you really, really like the ripstop nylon, so... Yeah! <laughs> and uh, in uh, Cool Kid terms, the uh, rectangle with the cross through it, it would generally be blue, but that would represent friendly infantry. I know this is just like the tack design, but if you wanted to be like cool, tactical, strategic level, put it on a grid square. There's your symbology. Friendly infantry. Just watch out for those diamond guys. Diamonds with the cross. They are... Mm -mm, not good dudes. <laughs> They're also red. That's your that's first sign. So 
Cheers, everyone. Stay Silvers. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you end up buying one and you really, really like it, feel free to comment so down below. And if you don't really, really like it, also comment down below to play the algorithm. <laughs> Why not? not? I don't think there's anyone who's not going to like these. Because, yeah, even if, like, you don't want to use this, you can just un-Velcro it and Velcro on the beefy one. kind of liked my BDS. BDS dump pouch was one of the first ones I had. My buddy gave that one to me. It did have the sort of, like, side mounts, but again, without any supports to it. One of the big things would happen if you put anything, like, relatively heavy in there is it would constantly just smack into your leg. And I guess this would do something similar, but... This one takes up significantly less space than the BD BDS one. So, yeah, cool. Um, Alright, I'm peacing out now. I got, uh... Oh yeah, I got stuff to do. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!